In this short video, I will tell you how you can manage different programming files for different lab sessions. It is very important for you that you have proper management of these coding files. As I said earlier, there will be about 25 lab sessions and each lab session has on average 3 to 4 tasks. So in total there are more or less 100 tasks and when you create one, you should be able to access that at some later stage. This is also important because in some coming labs tasks, for example in lab 8, there might be a task referring to task of lab number 2. So you should know where to find that old task. I will show the approach both for idle and Visual studio code. First, select some working directory on your system and create a folder that will contain all coding files. Give it an appropriate name. Now inside this folder, we should have folders for each lab. Now let's open idle. and create a new file. To place these two windows properly on the screen, select the idle window and press windows button plus left arrow key. The window will move to the left and is asking for the second window to be placed on the right side. Select the new file window. The name of new file is untitled. You can start coding there or let's first save it and then we'll write the code. Press Ctrl plus S or go to file save as. Navigate to the folder you created for this lab, for example lab1. Name the file, for example for task1, it can be task1.py. Please be sure to add .py at the end. And secondly, avoid using space in the file name. Now you can code the task1, I am simply writing a print statement. To run the file, you can press F5 and on the shell window you can see the output. Now even if you close the file, you can easily locate that inside lab1 folder. At later stage, if you have to open this, you can open that directly or from the idle window. Go to file and open, navigate to the lab1 folder and select the file. And we have file here. Now for the task 2 of lab1, Again go to file and new either from the idle window or the open file window. Again save the file and let's name it as task2.py. You can run this. Now if you have to do the task of lab2, you should save the file in lab2 folder. I think it's pretty much simple. So now you have the task files saved in the respective folders. Now let's move to Visual Studio Code and here the approach is even simpler. Go to File and Open Folder. Instead of selecting a lab folder, I would suggest to select the outer folder which contains the subfolders as different labs. Now we don't need to go to Windows Explorer and can manage things from this explorer window of the Visual Studio code. This shows the three folders inside the folder we selected. If I open lab1 folder, I can see two coding files which we created. We can collapse or expand these folders as well. Let's say you have to create a new file for lab3. For that, select lab3 folder here and then click this new file icon. It will ask for the name of the file and this file is created in lab3 folder. Let's create another one. Now suppose after lab 3 now you have to start lab number 4. The good thing here is that you can create folders from here. For that, unselect any file or folder if selected by clicking anywhere on the empty space. And then click this new folder icon. 
name it like lab4. To create first task file for lab4, select the folder and click new file icon. So that's how you should manage all files for the complete course. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.